Hello guys, President Bola Metinubo is currently in shock. The way Nigerian and bad governance protesters are going about these protests currently. Now the Nigerian government is driving them from the streets using Nigerian security apparatus or counter protesters to attack them. So the protesters have also changed their game. Now they are now coming out, you know, to those strategic places that the security, uh, Nigerian security are, are now uh, standing to, to kill them. But what they are not doing now, they are not going after Nigerian politicians and those who installed President Bola Tinubu as Nigerian president. They've gone to INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakubu's uh, uh, place. We don't know how they actually got, you know, to know his residence. Now, Lee God save him. One of him, had, uh, one of him, and car they don't burn him before security uh, agencies, you know, can uh, help them out. If not, he has for don stay worker, just like what they are doing in the Jigawa, uh, Burundi, and Niger states. They are now going after Nigeria uh, federal lawmakers' properties. Since we are not one here us. Now we go do we think we make now. If not not wrong, come out. We now go forced to do the need for. That is just what is happening. Nigerians, President Bola Metinubu, you know, cries out the moment protesters hate Storm C J N Ariwola uh, Kayode. That is a Nigeria uh, C J N. Nigerians are now on him. You understand? They visited him early hours of today. They scatter his residence. They say now God now help his wife. Right now uh, CJN is crying is crying for security, both security for his family. They said for the fact that he imposed President Bola Metunubu on Nigerians, he go collect in one water water. Nigerians, all these things that is just happening is because life has become unbearable to Nigerians. And they feel that maybe going after these individuals they have done us that have done us this bad will make other people to change mind when they think to do something like that as well. This is really, really very sad. We don't supposed to be, you know, uh, a country that have too much and we are begging to eat. The resources is just in the hands of few individuals, the politicians. But the worst part of it is that they don't understand that Nigerians are going through hell. They will tell you, we feel your pain. You understand? Nigerians are going through hell. Nigerians are going through hell. President Bola Metinubu need to do something about these policies. Now we understand the fact that he said, oh, I cannot change all these things. I'm working for the betterment of the country. How? I, I See, I understand something. If you are actually working for betterment for, of people, and these people are not coming back to tell you, say, see, we are not comfortable with this thing. Why can't you do something about it? I think you should do something. The only problem we are facing right now is that first subsidy. If after that 23, uh, 23 presidential election, how everything Conte Waka, the voting, the court case and all that, say President Bola Maitinbu is actually doing the need for, do you think Nigerians were complaining? Whatever he did now, they will refer him back to what happened in 2023. You hear majority of people will tell you, oh, you, you know, we did not vote for you. You brought yourself in here. Funny enough, he said it the other day that He's not afraid of any kaba. He used his money to get to that seat. So what do you want to tell somebody like that? What do you think you will tell somebody like that that will tell you, see, I used my money to, to be here, so you have no right to talk to me. This is unfair. This is unfair. Before something evil will be done, the government have to look and listen to what Nigerians are saying. If you say that the first subsidy is for my own good, 
And I still used to, the, the, I can't sit, come back on the complaint they give you, say, this thing, you know, they do me any good. And you say it's for my own good. Why can't you do something about it? I don't talk this matter before and I'm still saying it again. And I will continue to say it. If the government of the day do not do anything about these hunger issues, a day will come, the hungry Nigerians will use well-fed politicians for food. And it's coming. It's here. It's happening right now. Nigerians are really very angry with President Bolame, Tunubu government. Even if we understand he has the power, he can use his power, you know, to do whatever he like. But that they tell you, say, one day for the thief, every day for the thief, not because they talk him, one day for the owner of the house. When I know some of these ones, they're not going to like to, you know, to bring them out because they don't want to thanks the country. And if you can understand what happened during the first day of this protest, the second day, even to the, uh, the third day, the fifth day, they actually lock the internet. They make sure that the network or the network provider, you know, they make sure that a network be very difficult for any people, anybody I meant to say, you know, to send anything, what is going on, this, is and that, because they are afraid that it will escalate. You understand? All these kind of things. They know they, they see and ah, remove it, remove it, remove it. They don't want people to know what is going on. So that people know go come. When I know as these things they be now, when it don't they happen for yeah, all that people, oh, this one don't happen, this one, we won't go see enter them. So people go see they regroup for that side. So that is why they are making sure that these things do not go out for Nigerians, you know, to understand what is going on. Well, Nigerians. I don't drop this one. Na Niger Twist News. Now you now you display this report early this morning, waiting they happen for Nigeria. I beg share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs.